It's the RV Gardener. Come on along. These are my compost bins. I just emptied a year's worth of compost content into the garden. And today I already filled one bin again with garden clippings. In the coming months, I will add more composting material to both of these bins. And I'm looking forward to organically composting in the next garden. I think I'd like to share with you the medicinal garden. Um, it really didn't take off like I thought it would. I planted a lot of things in that garden and there's only maybe about four plants that came up, <laughs> but here it is. There's catnip, peppermint, and spearmint. And some months ago I planted a lemon tree. So it's just a little baby, but it's hanging in there. I'm not sure if I need to cover it up during the winter because we will get a little snow here but I'll read up on it and watch some videos and figure it out so this is my little herb stand and I've actually moved it over to a different location to get ready for the next season but it's just where I kind of work this is a strawberry plant that I started and I'm gonna hold on to it going to winterize it and hopefully next year it'll come back with really nice sized strawberries. I've tilled the soil in a lot of places and put down cover crop seeds. So I'm hoping that over the winter you get some nice green plants in there that I can turn over into the soil in the spring. So even though the garden may look somewhat sparse, there are still some harvests to be had. We have Anaheim peppers, jalapeno peppers, lots of jalapeno peppers, Asian eggplant, purple eggplant. There is celery, green peppers, green bell peppers cherry tomatoes and other types of tomatoes that are still growing flowers. Here is um, my larger garden area. So I've already tilled it for the most part uh, and I started adding more nutrients back into it. I put the compost over here. I showed you that bin earlier and just gonna top it off with straw so pretty much this entire bed will look like that when I'm all done but right now I still have a few things growing however I wanted to get started in the empty spots with providing more nutrients to the ground I'm leaving this space open in the back because next year I plan to do more container gardening I have big plans for this trellis. I can see it dripping with purple peas or beans of some sort. I brought this raised bed down from the deck and added amendments to the soil. So we'll see what happens to it next season. So this is planting soil that I mixed myself. It contains old soil from pots, fresh potting soil, black cow fertilizer, peat moss, blood and bone meal, and worm castings. And I'm gonna mix it up real good and cover it to use in my container planting. And over here, I started a pollinator flower garden and it did pretty good. So I already have some plants and some ideas for next year to enhance it a bit more to bring those beautiful bees and pollinators to the yard. So there you have it, uh, the end of the season here. And I'm looking forward to the next season already and taking you along with me on the journey.